Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you Princess Telephone. This is a final checkout video of Norman's Telephone from Colorado. Now we did an initial checkout video of this telephone and basically what happened was I guess Norman was watching some of our videos and he kind of figured that maybe this telephone needed a bridge rectifier since the only thing it wouldn't do was dial out and basically uh, somebody else had must have already figured that or at some period of time they already had changed the tip and ring on the polarity of the network and that didn't work so I guess they gave up because basically it wasn't a, a, a polarity issue at this point it was really the keypad the keypad was bad and so what we did was I rebuild keypads when I get a chance and uh, I just replace them with uh, original keypads and then rebuild uh, the ones that are bad later on when I get more time and so another thing that we wanted to do so this keypad has been changed out and another thing that we wanted to do was build a bridge rectifier circuit so that everything was protected and we'll cover this all up this will this will be protected when we get done this is just to show uh, on the video the bridge rectifier circuit and uh, what we do to it and so we'll cover all that up and protect it and so now no matter where Norman plugs his telephone in he'll always have the proper polarity and as long as his telephone service or however he's uh, acquiring his telephone line the telephone should dial out and um, and he should be fine um, and so the first thing that we want to do in these final checks I'm going to go ahead and uh, I want to lock the hook switch down although the ring wasn't uh, the bell wasn't the problem I like to check these telephones out and uh, so we're going to do some final checks I'll let it ring a couple times go ahead and give you some dial tone And now we want to do some dialing. I want to go ahead and dial all the numbers. I'm going to end in a 2. And then what I want to do is I want to talk into the handset. I want to transmit. If you see this red indicator light here on the analyzer, that shows 100% modulation every time I transmit. Hello, hello, hello. So we know that the telephone is, is working now and the only issue was really the keypad was bad and then we added the bridge rectifier. But what we're also going to do is I have a little setup here and this is a, a regular telephone line out and if I plug into this adapter here uh, the polarity will be opposite and then if I plug in over at this uh, 5 port uh, the polarity will be correct and this would be improper so what we're going to do to show you that these bridge rectifiers work is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug into the regular line at this point give you some dial tone we're going to dial say a time and temp number So we know that is working. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch the line over to the adapter, which will actually reverse the polarity. And so, in a sense, the polarity would be improper now. But since we have a bridge rectifier, uh, it should work out. I'll give you some dial tone. And I want to go ahead and dial time and temp again. Approval available. Today is Tuesday, July 26th. 
The time is 3.42. Current temperature 105 degrees. Now the weather forecast for the Belleville area. Mostly clear tonight, lows in the low 70s, Wednesday sunny. So we know the telephone is working properly and uh, that the telephone is dialing out either way. And I'm going to go ahead and plug back into the analyzer. And what I want to do is uh, I want to dial the numbers again. And then we'll do that one more time.